Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the a little mini love reading <clears throat> for next week for the Aries. Um, so this will be a quick three card spread. I'm sorry for the voiceover. I am um, kind of in a different location in my bedroom um, because I was using my laptop for something else and I didn't want to put it back on my desk. So I decided not to do the whole setup this week, guys, but it's just a really quick reading um, just to look into next week. Okay, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> for the Aries, we're going to be looking at the week of um, Monday, starting Monday, the 18th, until the end of the week, the 24th, which is Sunday. I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Um, also, I'm going to have a very quick money forecast for next week for the 12 Zodiac signs. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Some really valuable information about money and how to attract money. So make sure if you're having some issues with money that you look at those videos. All right, so we're going to do a past, present, future. So, um, presently for a lot of you Aries, I'm seeing you carrying a heavy burden. You got the Ten of Wands. So, that's a heavy burden. By the way, I'm using the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. Um, the Ten of Wands is um, some sort of oppression. Some sort of burden. Um, it may not necessarily be oppression, but it's some sort of burden that you're carrying. But you're being, But you're able to handle it. So, this is probably... Your relationship, some of you Aries are in a high maintenance relationship with someone, um, is what that would sound like to me. Um, but the 10 is of completion. So um, I, it points towards you Aries being in a relationship that really requires for you to have a lot of, I don't want to say patience, but a lot of integrity. Um, it takes you being the bigger person a lot. And... You know, um, for this to come up in a love reading is what I see. Now, I do see for some of you that that uh, currently um, there's a hard place in the relationship that you're currently in. But you need to know that they're going through something that has nothing to do with you. They just need you to be supportive. And they might be angry. They might be mean. They may have a drug addiction. They might just be tired that day or just whatever they're feeling you know you need to allow that person to have their space and when they need your support then you be there because it might be something really really hard especially with it being a 10 so this is like a this is a make or break period um it's almost a make or break period in a relationship okay now in the past i do see the strength card a lot of you aries um you are using everything that you can to manifest a relationship with this person and by the strength card coming up being a major arcana um also my son is in the room with me also so <laughs> we're not on i'm not i didn't do my whole setup um this is about mind over matter this is about controlling your impulses and conquering your fears and never losing patience with yourself because you know that this person requires a lot of work on your part. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And, and I mean, even in the future, I can see a lot of you Aries just really working hard um, next week to balance your relationship. Um, also, your last card, which is the final card, you got the two of coins. So, not only are you juggling a relationship, but you are also juggling. Um, you're, you're constantly trying to keep it in balance. And I think it's a spiritual journey. I get the sense that there's 
um, some something like this looks like just twin flame, especially with the two of coins whenever I get a two. So I get the sense that, you know, um, either some of you Aries are going to meet your twin flame um, or I get the sense that some of you that are already in relationships um, or you're trying to get with your twin flame that you're at a really hard part. But it, I can tell that you decided to stick with that person, um, especially with this strength card, which is basically using your mind to overcome something so it, it's not that this person is just high maintenance it's also you so i see you having to conquer some fears in your mind and i see both of you really working together um and in the future you did get the two of coins which um the two of coins and the deviant tarot is a good card it just means that you're going to be working to balance it and i think that both of you are going to be working to balance your relationship. Um, and so the two of coins the, or the two of pentacles um, is a belly dancer performing under the light of the crescent moon, balancing two silvery pentacles against the sky. Although our moves seem effortless, they come with great practice and concentration. So this is this card means balance and harmony with effort, handling multiple situations. So not only are you dealing with your relationship and you're dealing with this high maintenance person and then you also being high maintenance yourself, you're also juggling your career also. So this is just a little mini reading. If you want a more personalized reading, uh, definitely contact me on my website. Um, if you have any questions about my website, I am actually live a lot. So you can actually live chat with me um, most of the time. I'm usually on live. Um, on my chat most of the time. It's at the bottom right of my website on the first page, on the home page. All right, I will see you guys for your next um, small love reading um, for the Aries, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.